Hi everybody, welcome to this master free-to-play qualifying round guide for the St. Patrick's Day tournament here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. A very warm welcome if you are new. Please give me a thumb up if you don't mind and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Helps me out a lot. Now bear in mind, this video is using Kingmakers and one Berserker only. Your drop rate will increase by taking tokens and building in some personal tweaks. And of course, if you really want to be competitive in Master, the best thing is to go down the premium ball route and get yourself one of the text guides that is created by some of the brilliant guide teams. And I'm sure if you head over to our Facebook group, you will see them advertise their services and also give you examples of their wonderful guide work. That, of course, is the best way to be competitive in Master. But if you're just stepping up for the first time or haven't played much Master before and want to go free to play, we have a minus 16 here for you. Let's get started with hole number one. Here we're going to play with APOC and the Grizzly. APOC 5 plus will start at the top of plus 10 yards. APOC 4 will start at P3 max rest. We're going to use 5.8 top spin and 2 bars left spin. In the end I do change to 2. APOC 5 and 6 you will have uh, the red ring touching the rough on the left. APOC 4 you will have 20% of the red ring overlapping the rough because you've got a slightly less accurate driver. The adjustment here is max plus 10, even with APOC 5, this will take us into overpower, so we need to apply uh, whatever overpower we are adjusting into. APOC 4, you're going to be about 2 or 3 rings into OP, unfortunately, but it's up to you if you want to try and play with a higher power ball to mitigate that need for overpower, then you can do. Perfect ball, bouncing on the fairway, comfortably over the rough. And we're rolling along here towards the right-hand side of the fairway. Drive distance around 365. Second shot, make a bottom white ring fringe check. So look at the bottom white ring touching the fringe where it meets the green in line with the pin. Plus three here is my reference. Then I'm adding approximately half a bar of top spin. And then finding the position with the top of the red ring touching the rough line and the ball guide passing the left edge of the cup. For plus three with Grizzly nine, that will be plus six with Grizzly seven and eight. We're gonna play this one 82% slider, zero elevation, and you should use Grizzly nine numbers regardless of your club level. Finally, you make two pulls over the bullseye. It's 2% per yard difference on your bottom white ring fringe check, so if yours was plus two, you're a little bit nearer you would play 80% slider instead, and so on. Making our adjustment, then just centre the ball nicely, hit perfect, and you're going to catch the rough. It is great, safe either side, of course, and we're dropping this one for the eagle right at the pin. On this par 3, we're going to find our position first, and you want the top of the white ring touching the rough, and then the ball guide passing the left edge of the cup. OK, so there's your references. White ring touching the rough, ball guide passing left edge of the cup. Then we add spin. 2.8 backspin and 3 right spin. It will look very strange, but the wind is going to push us back towards the hole. Now, we have to push rings to adjust here. Never ideal, but otherwise the rocks are in the way. So I do 4.5 at a time. There's 4.5. Here comes another 4.5 to make it 9 and then the remaining rings as needed. So you can hopefully do it within three kind of pushes. Mid plus 20 power two settings is the adjustment and use sniper 10 numbers regardless of your club level. Hit perfect, of course, you will need to tweak this depending on wind strength and wind angle, but we have a reference drop here for you to build from on this tough par three. With the par 5s here, I'm just looking for safe eagle play. Uh, we're starting at plus 10 with APOC 5 and above. Blue ring touching the rough with APOC 5 and 6. Adding spin, 5.8 top spin and 3 bars side spin to the right. Adjustment max plus 0, power 3. If you have APOC level 4, you start at P3 max rest and you would have approximately 30% of the blue ring inside the rough because of um, less accuracy. Make our adjustment and then we're going with 1.25 ball curl to the right. 
Look at the edge of the kingmaker touching the outside tip of the triangle and it is just before the circle drops as our overpower reference. Bouncing nicely away from the rough over and down the middle of the next fairway, we're looking for a drive distance here of approximately uh, 365 to 370. Second shot is going to be with the Cataclysm or the Big Dog, and we're going to add spin, and I'm going with 6.2 top spin and one left spin. Here with the Cat 6, uh, I'm boxing in the red, the red ring with the rough and the sand, but just use that as a reference, try and set up kind of comfortably away from both so that you're not going to risk either of them with accidental overpower or a great left. Mid plus zero here from this position. Um, I'm not really going to bother with any slider percentage here, just a general elevation of mid plus zero because, like I said, I'm just looking to get safely to the green with a free-to-play ball for the eagle. Bouncing very nicely in the top spin is taking us on to the green there and we're going to get a putt, a uh, nice mid-distance putt for the eagle. On this par 3, find your position first and we want the first point where the yellow ring touches the rough on the left and the right with the quarterback. Then we add spin and it's going to be a, a light 3.5 back spin, so call it 3.4 and then here it is 2.2 or 2.3 right spin but you want to have the tip of the ball guide touching the outside line of the fringe. So make sure you've got the two references there. Your spin amounts might be a click or two removed from what I'm using in the video. It all depends what kind of area you set up with, if you kind of one click high or low. But it's a guide for you to build from. Min plus 15, power 3. I'm not pulling over the bullseye here though, so just doing a standard 5 and then 5.2 to make up my ring adjustments. Um, minor greats should still be fine here. We'll look at the bounce point right now. Comfortably in the middle. Double greats might be a risk though, so try and hit perfect and subject to any tweaks. A good chance for a hole in one with a kingmaker. If you've not seen it already for a limited time only, a special tropical edition of the Golden Shot. Chance to win some wind five balls for free. All the details on my video on the channel homepage. Don't forget to check it out. We can send it to green here with a berserker. We're going to set up with APOC 5 plus, top of plus 24. APOC 4 would be a P5 max rest. Half of the red ring inside the rough with APOC 5 and 6. Then we make our adjustment. It's going to be max plus 10, but I'm using power 3 numbers. That is deliberate. It's not a mistake. Use power 3 numbers. And if you've got APOC 4, you would probably have about 70% of the red ring inside the rough. But use Rings Bible if you want an accurate amount. Same with APOC 7 and 8. You're going to have more of the red ring on the fairway because you've got more accurate club. With APOC 5 and 6, I push up 5 rings. It's going to be slightly less rings to push up with APOC 4 because you have less accuracy. So I would estimate about 4.5 rings instead. Three quarter ball curl to the right, full over power with a slow needle and hit perfect. But I would advise you to take a token or two with these aggressive shots up in master. They will need tweaking based on wind strength and wind angle. But all being well, you've got a short wedge or a putt for the eagle. With the kingmaker here looking for eagle and no more than that. Adding four top spin and then we are going to play with the apoc and the cataclysm or the big dog, whichever you have uh, that you want to use. Top of plus 10 with APOC 5 and above, and we're aiming towards the very tip of that fairway. APOC 4, you're going to be at P3 max rest, but still add your spin, 4 top spin, and just aim right down the tip of that fairway. Max plus 5, power 3, is what I go with in the video here. You will see I land slightly left of centre on the fairway after I've taken my shot. If you want to, you could play with power 4 numbers just to make uh, sure that you're a bit more in the middle of the fairway. But bear in mind, the second shot here is based on this drive placement. So um, if you want to tweak, of course, feel free to do so. Uh, but we're getting a good distance here of around uh, 360 yards. Second shot, we're going to add 0.8 top spin and three left spin first. Then we find our position at P3 max rest 
and you want the second bounce just where the rough line is. You might need to tweak the top spin if you had different distance of drive. Once we find that position, you re-spin to uh, 0.8 top spin, so the same top spin, but you change to half a bar of left spin. Now it does look strange, but like I said, the wind is going to do the rest of the work here. We're adjusting max plus five power three settings. And then it's time to take our shot. Of course, important to hit perfect here with lower accuracy clubs. And we're going with no curl, just a perfect ball, and the wind will push us into the rough. And the top spin will roll us just nicely out onto the green. And all I'm looking for here is a safe way to reach the green and put for the eagle. If this free content is helping you and you want to support the channel, then you can do so in one of three ways. You can use the PayPal link in the video description down below. You can click the thanks button or you can become a channel member to unlock loads of great perks as well. Very tough to drop a hole in one here with free to play. We're going to have to play with the cataclysm. Otherwise, we're in between clubs with a kingmaker. So a P3 max rest with the cat or the big dog. We're going to add spin one and a half backspin. And here I go with half a bar of right spin and the ball guide is pointing one green square to the left of the pin. However, I miss left here so I would like you to tweak this one and I would suggest you go with 0.7 right spin based on the miss in the video. The adjustment is max plus 15 power 3 numbers. Like I said though, this is will be tough with free to play and you will need a token or two just to tweak it if you want to attack the pin a bit more. But either way, well executed setup, you're not going to risk the birdie. Speed is good, just need a couple of clicks more, right spin. Sadly, I didn't get an eagle here, but I was close, and I'm going to give you a tweak based on the miss in the video. Blue ring touching the rough with APOC 5 and 6, starting at the top of plus 10. And then I'm adding here uh, 5 and a half top spin and 3 right spin. APOC 4 will set up a P3 max rest and will have 30% of the blue ring inside the rough on the right. If you find in practice your drive is getting a bit long here and you are out of plus yardage, you can build in a separate reference check if you want with tokens. If not, then just dial back the top spin by a click or two and see what works for you. Max plus 10, power 3, no curl, no overpower, Make sure you have a nice decent pull here. Any unwanted pull angle could risk you going too long on the drive. So like I say, always good to practice this one first if you can. Catching the slope very nicely down the fairway. Drive distance here is going to be 390 yards. Now with a drive of that distance, like I said, you can use landing position plus yards. I'm adding spin first, 3.9 top spin and one left spin. That may vary if you have different drive distances, but I'm setting up with the yellow ring touching the rough and the ball guide pointing to the left edge of the cup. Plus one is my landing position, so I would recommend you play 88% slider, 10% elevation. Please note that is not what I do in the video as this one is under adjusted, so that is my suggestion of a tweak. But like I said, always good to have a go yourself and put in some extra tweaks or tweak the aim if you'd rather do that. The adjustment will always take you over the bullseye with the kingmaker, so no need to mention that really. But a centred ball here, going to catch the rough and will be a good chance for an eagle. Like I said, it does need a tweak though, but you've got a perfect ball attempt to work from here. Just missing on the right hand side on this par 4. Safe eagle here, outside chance of an albatross though as well. Top of plus 4 with APOC 5 and above, top of plus 10 with APOC 4. Red ring touching the rough with APOC 5 and 6. We're going with 2 bars of top spin and 3 bars side spin to the right. If you've got APOC 4 you will have 20% of the red ring overlapping the rough. And then we're going to adjust max plus 10 power 3 settings. Important to hit perfect on this one. We're playing a bit of a narrow line. Great right might clip the rough and roll out. You should still be on the fairway, but you might have a bit more of a battle to reach the green in two. So as always, 
Try and practice this one first. And we're going to go with one ball of curl to the right, just before the circle drops as our overpower reference. Important you get these details right up in master. Any variance in pull angle or overpower a bit too much, you may roll long or into the rough. So make sure you try and get as many details as you can. Drive distance, you want around 340 yards. Second shot, I'm adding spin first. Three and a half top spin. You might want to tweak it depending on your drive distance. Then I'm stretching out and aiming as shown there towards kind of a third of the way into the green from the left hand side because the wind will push us right. Then we allow our target to go back to the max rest position and adjust max plus zero. Now I'm not going to push up here but I'm going to go with full overpower but it will be a slower needle, better chance of hitting perfect. Full overpower, no curl, try and hit perfect. Minor great left, minor great right should still be okay. Double or triple greats, maybe not. So try and hit perfect. Top spin takes us down onto the green. We actually get a zoom in here, just missing, but either way, well executed shots, you're gonna have a putt for your eagle on this par five. Thank you for watching this video on the St. Patrick's Day tournament. Please head over to Facebook, search for BK Golf Clash. Join our free Facebook group. Free guides, shot sharing, discussion points as well. Loads of helpful members there to help improve your game. Look forward to seeing you there and good luck in the St. Patrick's Day tournament. See you soon. Bye for now.